macOS Tahoe has brought a bold new look with its liquid glass design, a smarter spotlight, and even AI-powered shortcuts. It's easily one of Apple's biggest macOS overhauls in years. But here's the thing. As with any brand new operating system, things don't always run perfectly from day one. Some apps may break, your Mac might slow down, or you might just miss the stability of macOS Sequoia. If you upgraded to Tahoe and now regret it, don't worry. I'll walk you through downgrading back to Sequoia safely and without losing your files. First things first, downgrading erases your drive, so backups are non-negotiable. Make sure you don't skip this step if you want to keep your files safe. The easiest way is to use Time Machine with an external drive, but you can also sync your files with iCloud, copy them manually to Dropbox, or use another backup service. And before you jump straight into downgrading, here's something to consider. Sometimes the issues with a brand new macOS release get patched within days, so waiting for Apple's updates could save you the hassle as well. Or if your Mac just feels sluggish, you can troubleshoot first. A tool like Click My Mac has a dedicated performance feature that flushes your DNS cache, repairs disk permissions, re-indexes Spotlight, and runs other under-the-hood tweaks to solve performance problems. You can try Click My Mac for free for seven days. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to check it out. But if you're sure downgrading is the way to go, let's move on to creating a macOS Sequoia installer. First, you need to download macOS Sequoia. To reinstall Sequoia, you need the installer, so make sure you go to the App Store and search for macOS Sequoia. Make sure to download it or just follow the download link we've provided in the video description. Once the download finishes, you'll find the installer in your Applications folder. Now let's create an installer. To do this, you need a USB stick or external drive with at least 16 gigabytes of space and the macOS Sequoia installer we just downloaded. Next, you need to format the drive. So plug it in and open Disk Utility from Finder, go to Applications and Utilities. Here, select your USB in the sidebar and click Erase. Then for the name, you can put Sequoia USB or anything short and easy with no spaces. For format, it's macOS Extended Journaled and Scheme GUID Partition Map. Click Erase and then Done. Next, we'll copy the installer onto the drive. Open Terminal from Utilities again and enter this command, replacing Sequoia USB if you named your drive differently. You can copy and paste this. Next, Terminal will ask for your admin password, type it in, you won't see anything while typing, and then press Return again. This can take 10 to 20 minutes, and once you see the message, Install Media Now Available, your bootable installer is ready to go. So, with your installer ready, it's time to erase your Mac. You're going to restart your Mac, so on Apple Silicon you can hold the power button, and on Intel Macs, hold the Option key to enter recovery. You might be asked to include your Apple ID and password. If that's the case, make sure to include your email and password here. Choose Disk Utility, select your drive, usually Macintosh HD, and click Erase. You're going to format it as APFS and give it a name. I stuck with Macintosh HD. Your Mac is now clean and ready for Sequoia. So now that your drive is wiped, there's no OS left, so we need to install Sequoia. So back into the Utilities screen, plug in your bootable USB or external drive and select Install macOS Sequoia. Click Continue and accept the license agreement. Choose the empty drive you erased earlier, Macintosh HD, and click Install. The installation here takes about 30 to 40 minutes, and once it's done, you'll be greeted by the macOS setup screen, this time running Sequoia. Hopefully, things feel much smoother after this downgrade. If this video helped, hit like, subscribe, and drop a comment about what made you switch back. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.